Hey everyone, Michael here. Yesterday, I released a video that showed you how to get Arch Linux working on PS4 9.00 firmware. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, except for installing Arch, we're going to be installing Gentoo. Let's go. Okay, so this is the same site that I had mentioned yesterday. Again, what you're going to need to do here is go up to where it says code, and then download zip, and then just extract the files to your desktop. One other file that you're going to want to make sure that you download is going to be the Gentoo Linux image here. Once you have all that downloaded, you're ready to proceed. Okay, great. So before we begin today, I would recommend that you get a larger USB drive for this. I would recommend something over 32 gigabytes. Just like the Arch installer, it's going to be installing all of the program files on to your USB hard drive. So keep that in mind before you go forward. Now, one thing that I like to do is I like to use a third-party tool to go ahead and to format my disk into FAT32. So here you can see I am using this partition assistant standard edition completely for free. It will allow you to format your drives into FAT32. So disk one is my hard disk drive that I would like to use to install Gen2 on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that drive and I'm gonna go to format partition in here, I'm going to go ahead and select FAT32, and then I'll press OK here, and we got to hit the Apply button up here at the very top, and we will hit Proceed and then Start. All right, we can double check and verify that this works by going back over into Windows Explorer, and we can see that this is indeed FAT32. So now we are going to need to create a bootable USB drive. So I am using Rufus. I would also highly recommend that you use this program as well. Uh, once you get to this page, again, links in the description. If you scroll down, you can see where it says download. And there is Rufus 3.17. And I'm just going to go ahead and download that and then run that application. And so if you haven't done it already, go ahead and make sure you download the Gen2 image. It is at the link located below. Okay, so once this loads, you may see that there is nothing in the device, and it typically does that when there is a larger hard drive. So if you click on this advanced drive properties, and we're going to select the list USB hard drives, we now see that our Gen 2 drive of 512 is now showing. Once that's complete, we're going to simply go to where it says select, and we're going to select our Gen 2 image and hit open. And now we are ready to start the process. So down at the very bottom, you'll see where it says start and go ahead and click on that for me. And it should take about three to four minutes in order for it to install. Okay, and so now we can close right out of this. Okay, so now at this point, you're gonna be using the same method that I showed yesterday. I'm gonna walk you through this with yesterday's footage right now. Click on where it says code and then download zip. It shouldn't take but just a moment and then you'll have all of the files that you're going to need in order to install Linux. Okay, so wherever you downloaded it, just go ahead and do a right click and extract the files. Okay, so we're going to go into payload sender and we're just going to run the executable there, which is PS4 payload injector. The first thing you're going to need to do is to type in your IP address of your PlayStation 4. And for the port, we're just going to use 9090. That is the port if you are using the very latest Goldian on 9.00 that it is waiting for is port 9090. And then hit connect and it does show that it is connected. Okay, so you'll see a ton of different files when we come in here from the Linux loader part from 9.00 to a Mira loader. What you're going to need to do first, and it is crucial to make this to work, is you're going to need to send over the payload that is listed here, which is the Mira loader. Once you do that, make sure you hit OK, and then you can send the payload. OK, so it says that that payload has been sent. OK, and back over on our PS4, 
Again, just double check and make sure you've got these first two ticks enabled, but we should be able to see that there was a payload that has been sent to us. So we see that we've got a payload received. And then finally, it does say waiting for clients. Waiting for clients is very important to see. If you just see the first one and not waiting for clients, then there could be something wrong. And we can switch out that payload now back over to our Linux loader 900.bin. And then went back and sent the payload and it worked. Okay, we have a payload received. Okay, just like yesterday, the screen goes all black and there you can see that it is starting to load. Now it loads pretty quick. Um, so here we are, this is Gen 2. So the very first few things that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have internet access. So I'm going to this Telegram link and it cannot find it because there is no internet at the moment. So let's click over on networks and I'm gonna go into the Wi-Fi and hopefully it will show and there it goes. So I'm gonna click on my local Wi-Fi. I'm gonna hit the connect button here and now I just need to punch in my password and I'll just go ahead and press enter and it's asking us to set up a password for the KDE wallet. Just go ahead and enter one here and hit okay. Okay and at this point it looks like it has been activated and I should have internet access now. Loading and now I'm just going to go ahead and go back to youtube.com MB Crump. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay so we'll close that out. If you didn't know where these applications are at, they're down at the very bottom. So just wiggle your mouse down at the very bottom of the screen and you should see these applications. Okay, so there is a file manager, capturing screenshots. Um, over in application, there is games. Under games, I see RetroArch in there. There's the PlayStation 4 remote play client. Uh, Wii, GameCube emulator, PlayStation emulators. Uh, so this version looks like it already has you kind of hooked up with uh, everything you need to go ahead and start playing ROMs. Click on this button right here, and we're going to launch Kodi. So Kodi is a great way to play emulation, and it has Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, all the way over to Jaguar, Nintendo, and then Nintendo GameCube. I need to dust off my GameCube. I haven't been in that in a while. So you can hit the Alt and the F4 button to close back out of that. Uh, it does have controller support, so you can come in here and add in different controllers. And if we click on the Start button down here, the first thing we are going to need to do is to use the rest of that space that is unallocated. So go to Partition Editor, and you're going to need to log in with the password of just PS4. And now click on this and then go to resize. And we're going to resize this to use the rest of the hard drive. So click on resize and then this little green check mark and then the apply button. It should complete very shortly. All right. So now we can use the entire hard drive. We can go to the terminal if we would like to just to verify that. That's just down here at the bottom. And then you'll see this button and this is launching console which is a terminal emulator for linux and we're just going to use the linux command here which is going to be df space dash h and we can see right here that there is 459 gigs on sda2 and there's 431 gigs available and just like the other video on Arch Linux, you can go up here to the power button and you can simply do the restart, the shutdown, etc., in order to get back to your PlayStation's original operating system. And I couldn't say goodbye without at least uploading those awesome wallpapers that we just saw. So there is a couple of different ones in here that you can choose from. I'll drop this link into the description as well in case you want to use those. Well, that's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. And until the next time, Michael out.